All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are out here getting ready to start the next episode. It's Graham's last night out here, so this might be the last episode he's featured in for a while. But we're going to do a little bit of evening cruising to start off the day, see if we can move any lizards out of the road. All right, here's our first snake of the night, a nice big black neck garter, something we haven't seen many of, and the first one we've seen during the day on the channel. Look at that, one of the first snakes we've actually cruised during the day this year. Look, good looking snake. Yeah. That thing has a beautiful pattern and head. Really nice looking snake. All right, we'll put him on the other side of the fence where he's safe from cars and continue on with our day. All right, stay away from the road, buddy. What a cool looking snake. So we're getting in the car to get back to cruising and uh, there's a blacktail crawling right in front of our car where we've been standing here talking for the last 45 minutes. So let's go get a look at this guy. And there's a big handsome blacktail rattlesnake. Oh, what? Hello. So peaceful. What a guy. That's so funny. I mean, we were literally standing around the car not 30 feet from him. And, uh, he just crawled right just over. Crawled right out. Also, look at how well behaved they are. That's what a, a great man. snake. Yeah, that is a big, handsome black tail. Very nice. All right, we'll leave him to it. Well, there's our first night snake of the night, and he is doing some weird... He's going to do the curl. <laughs> we haven't even touched this thing. We just walked up to it, and he's curling up for us. That is really cool to see. Normally, you kind of have to mess with these guys to get him to do that. All right, out of the road with this guy. Cool to see that defensive behavior, though. Now he's just kind of flaring up like a hog nose, except for he's a night snake. Really weird to see. All right, well, it's been a while since we've seen a snake, but Steven just spotted this lep. We're out walking around now. But really nice-looking mottled rock rattlesnake is our next snake of the night. It's been a little bit slow up until this point, but any night with a lep is a good night, in my opinion, so we're going to get some quick photos. That's a great looking snake. We've only been here for about five minutes and we've already got a lep, so we're gonna get some quick photos of this beautiful snake and keep on moving. But really good start at this spot. Hopefully it'll keep going. Maybe 10 seconds after the lep, Steven spotted a little bear eye. Actually a pretty good size one, one of the larger ones we've seen this year. But uh, yeah, it seems like snakes are moving pretty strong here. We've seen a bunch of bear eye, but I actually have a hand model this time so we can actually get a decent look at this one. Um, my flashlight will get it together. But you can see all these people just driving right by where this snake might have gotten squished otherwise because he was about to cross the road. So we're gonna help him across in the direction he was going and uh, get back to shining. All right, everyone. This is gonna be a little bit of a weird start to the episode because uh, up until this point in the night, we had not seen anything besides some garter snakes. I wasn't even planning on running an episode tonight because it's one of my last nights out here and it's just been super slow so I uh, wasn't really intending to film anything tonight because I didn't think we'd see much but the weather has taken a turn for the better and uh, well we found something so I'm gonna cut to that to start off the episode and uh, if we see anything else that'll be fantastic and if not then that's just fine too so we're gonna get to it and uh, I will cut to our first find of the night there we go Look at that! Oh my goodness! Look. Well, we have had a rough night, but there it is. <laughs> well, if we're only going to shine one snake tonight, that might as well be it. Fantastic looking dark alterna phase gray banded king snake here in West Texas. The first snake we have seen tonight that wasn't a garter snake on the road. And I didn't even bother filming the garters because we have seen more than our fair share of garter snakes so far this summer. This is what we are really here to see, although all the other snakes are fantastic too. But we have seen pretty much everything else in good numbers, except for these guys, which have proven very, very difficult this year. 
Another great thing about this snake is getting to share it with some friends, new and old, that have yet to see this species in the wild. So really, really the icing on the cake of this trip because it has been a lot of work and very few alterna, but to get one here at the very end is really awesome. So we're gonna get some photos of this guy real quick and hopefully be able to find another one. The weather is perfect right now. It's just drizzling ever so slightly. It's really warm. There's thunder and lightning everywhere. Couldn't be a much better night to look for these guys. So we're gonna get back to it after a couple photos. The only snake we've shined tonight. All right, here is Steven holding this snake so you can see a little bit of scale with it. It's a pretty big alterna, one of the uh, bigger ones I've found. I have not seen too many bigger than this, if any, but Steven has found a couple significantly bigger than this. But I'd say this is probably about average size for an adult you see in the wild, maybe a little bit bigger. I love that long nuchal band mm -hmm. and that dark, dark background. Well, our alterna-only cut shining streak for the night has been broken, but in a pretty cool way. Look at the size of this night snake. And that is by far one of the chunkiest night snakes I have ever seen. Probably the chunkiest. I mean, look at this thing. It's gigantic. It's the size of a normal sized alterna, but it's a night snake. But that is only our second snake on a cut tonight. Steven spotted this big guy. So, I mean, quality over quantity type of night for sure. Big night snake and a gray band are the only things we've seen so far. And it's about 2 a.m. at this point, I think. So we're probably gonna be wrapping up here shortly, but I think we are gonna get out tomorrow. So if we don't see anything else, this is a pretty cool way to end the night with a giant night snake. Here's a nice black tail. Really pretty looking, nice sized adult. First one of those we've seen tonight, kind of surprisingly. Seems like stuff is just coming out late, which is fine by me as long as we're finding snakes. This guy spooked pretty quickly, but that is a really good looking snake. It's just hanging out in the bush now. Love me a good black tail. How's it going, dude? <laughs> it's drizzling a little bit, so he's got a little bit of a raindrop on his head. Really good looking snake. <laughs> this thing's just awkwardly climbing around in the bush. Really weird to see, but anyways, beautiful black tail. We'll lead him to his business. Surprisingly, the first one we've seen tonight. Hello. Oh, there's a centipede. Look at that guy, running on the ceiling. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, it has been a fantastic night. As you can see, that moon is gigantic, and it didn't really matter, but there were clouds covering the moon at the time we found the Alterna, but my experience has been just about every other factor impacts Alterna movement a lot more than the moon. Well, it is our last morning here in West Texas, and uh, it's time to start the long drive home. I'm certainly gonna miss this place as I always do. I guess it's time to make this 20 hour drive. Come here, Oso, come here, Oso. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, Oso. Come here, let me pet you. How's it going, buddy? Oso had a tick on his eyeball, so he's got a big swollen eyeball on the left side. Hey, buddy, you're so handsome. You gonna take care of Steven and Sophia? All right, we'll see you next year, buddy.